primarily people simply have to stop uh, so much political posturing and uh, aim themselves at solving the country's serious problems, and we have many serious problems. Okay. So uh, what do we do about it, though, specifically? What are you calling for? We're calling for uh, greater respect and civility uh, and understanding that the people on, on the other side of the aisle are not the enemy. They're good Americans who care just as much about this country as you do. Uh, and and uh, to act with respect toward others and civility in their conduct, get to know uh, people on the other side of the aisle as human beings, and work together to find common ground to solve these problems. What is national unity? National unity is the ability of a nation's people and politicians to find common ground and seek what is best for the nation as a whole instead of seeking individual advantage. There are many problems with our current system that cause the division of our nation. The major problems include gerrymandering, low electorate turnout, corrupted campaign financing, and closed primaries. Congressmen are supposed to represent the people from their area. However, since political parties redraw district lines in order to elect their own desired officials, correct representation gets pushed aside through a process called gerrymandering. In one particular instance, this happened to a Republican congressman named Mickey Edwards. Mickey Edwards was a congressman in his district when the Democrats changed his district into an upside-down L that included many rural areas. He had lived in cities for a long time and now he had to represent many of the ranchers and farmers from Oklahoma. In this case, and in all other instances of gerrymandering, our nation's politicians are not seeking what is best for the nation as a whole. They are seeking political advantage. Only 57.5% of all eligible voters actually voted in the 2012 presidential election. This means 42.5% of America did not vote. In recent years, the percent of Americans who identify themselves as independents has risen to 40%. Only 31% of these Americans identify themselves as Democrats, and only 27% identify themselves as Republicans. This means the plurality of our country is independent. However, a lot of these independents do not vote because they have no strong representatives in the presidential race. Therefore, our country is being run by the minority parties who do not truly represent the country's political views. In the Citizens United decision, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the federal government could not restrain independent expenditures on campaigns by unions and corporations. Many of these independent groups go beyond their legal limits by not identifying themselves when supporting campaign ads. They also often coordinate with the side they support in the campaign. By doing both of these things, independent groups are providing large sums of money to certain desired political parties and illegally giving an advantage to these parties. For party primaries before elections, political parties used closed primaries to keep people from voting who they believe are not up to their standards. In other words, they only allow registered voters from their own party to vote in their primaries. Originally, the primary system was created with the intent of giving Americans a greater voice in selecting officials. However, with closed primaries, most of these Americans are being cut out of the picture. So, the plurality of our country, which is independent, is being pushed aside in pursuit of political advantage for the other parties. America's biggest issue is that its politicians cannot find solutions to its current harsh situation. That is why the previously explained problems are ruining our nation. By solving these, America would be on its way to a well-represented population with politicians who would work together and find what is best for America. There are a few simple solutions to these four issues.
Norman Ornstein is a political scientist, author, and resident scholar at the American Enterprise Institute. When Norman was asked about the best way to end gerrymandering in the U.S., he replied, quote, There is no easy way, but having every state adopt a commission like the one in Iowa would help, end quote. In Iowa, a nonpartisan staff from the legislature creates the district maps without any extra data about the election or incumbents. This makes it so that the political parties are not influencing or giving an advantage to any of their candidates. Every state should consider this system of redistricting. When asked about one step that needs to be taken to unify America, Norman Ornstein answered, quote, enacting the Australian system of mandatory attendance at the polls, end quote. In Australia, each person that does not vote receives about a $15 fine. Because of this, 90% of the Australian population takes the time to vote. Creating a system like this in America would force Democrats and Republicans to focus on persuading the people in the middle and balance the political system back towards the middle. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the federal government could not restrain independent expenditures on campaigns in the Citizens United decision. However, the court also ruled that groups supporting campaign ads must identify themselves in a timely manner and that independent groups must actually be independent of the campaigns they give money to. Unfortunately, these rulings are not enforced very well. To bring this to an end, Congress should pass a bill that requires disclosure of independent groups and one that enforces their separation from who they give money to. Closed primaries prevent most of our nation's people from voting on candidates. In recent years, California and Washington realized this problem and acted on it. Both of these states created open primaries where any person could vote on who they wanted. Every state should consider enacting open primaries like California and Washington. As John Avalon said in his book, America needs to, quote, move not left or right, but forward.